Hello. Ah, uh, I'm Ape, and this is Cameron, and today we're playing Ratchet and Clank: Size Matters. No, no, this is not Ratchet and Clank: Size Matters. What? 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 I lied to you. I lied. What is it then? Uh, you'll see. In just a couple seconds, you'll see. But I had so much material ready for size... What? <laughs> now this is all useless now! I had so much material... Do you know how many <laughs> dick jokes I had ready for this? Do you know how many... Oh, uh, no, they're still, they're, they're still applicable. No, no. Most of them were dependent on Ratchet being there. Oh, okay. Well, this game's fucking awesome. And makes me feel super uncomfortable. But... It's a Suda51 game. It's probably one of his more straightforward games that uh, he's done. Damn it, alcohol open. Ah, welcome to my bedroom. Don't think that me letting you in here is an invitation for any funny stuff. I mean, not that I have a problem with funny stuff. Especially not if you really like the person. But that isn't what I wanted to talk about. Today is, as they say in Spain, my cumpleaños! That's right, my birthday. I'm 18 today. These are my girls on the San Romero cheer squad. We've gone to the Nationals three years in a row. <laughs> but we haven't won yet. Ugh. To keep my energy up, I eat lollipops. I know what you're thinking. I'm getting so fat. But they're so yum. This is my family. My older sister Cordelia won a gold medal in riflery last year. And she has a lot of secret meetings with guys I think are college scouts. My little sister Rosalyn just got her license, which makes me kind of think the DMV are idiots. My girlfriends say my dad is a total dilf. But try as they might, they could never come between him and my mom. She is so cool. It's because of her, my sisters and I all wear our vaginas proudly. God, she and my dad love each other so much. Speaking of true love, this is my boyfriend, Nick. It F's me up how much I really like him. My family's throwing me a birthday party after school. Nick is totally freaked out having to meet my family for the first time. But I'm even more freaked out for him to find out about my family. Because even though they're the most amazing ever, some of our traditions are a little... unusual. Nick's already so sweet to never complain about my ginormous fat butt. If he finds out I'm the number one world's biggest weirdo, he might not stick around. I'd be so sad, I think I'd seriously cry forever. Oh no! I'm totally late! I was supposed to meet him before school! I'm so lame! Ugh! I hope Nick isn't mad. That's about the worst thing that could ever happen! Alright, so this is a game developed by Suda51. It's all about hunting zombies. There's three difficulties to start out with. Easy, normal, and hard. Uh, I'm gonna be starting out on normal, and then I'll be doing a run on hard. Juliet's room is where you can see all of your collectibles. Options is obvious. Uh, subtitles, good. Yep. It really annoys me that that opening cutscene does not have subtitles, but eh. Oh, and this cover of Cherry Bomb is actually done by Jonah Jett, who did the backup vocals for Cherry Bomb in the original one. Huh. Yep. And this is the only loading screen I'll be leaving in, in its entirety. I just want to show you sometimes that, you know, the game does have a little bit of ridiculous loading times, which is a point against it. This game has awesome music. I just... Yeah, I was about to say, it's actually kind of... I kind of like that music. Taking a while. Yeah, yeah, it's a really long load time. To be fair, it has to load the entire level as opposed to just the next checkpoint because it's like one continuous map. Okay, this is kind of getting boring now. Yeah. Yeah! 
Seriously? Dude. The hell? And on my birthday, too! Like you're not already late enough! Gross! Stupid! I'm dead, douchebags! Irritating. Okay, so Lollipop Chainsaw is a game in which you go ahead and you kill zombies with a giant ass chainsaw, and immediately I do something awful. I am so, so sorry. I am so fucking sorry. Oh my god. The worst hey, part is there's an. What are there's an achievement for this. I never do that again. I wanted to show off immediately so I can get it out of the way and never, ever have to deal with it again. Okay, so speaking of getting out of the way, um, let me just say right now, my problem with this game isn't, you know, Jeez, it that there's like, like tits and ass. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm a grown-ass man. My problem is, um, okay, you ever... Okay, I basically, it's second-hand embarrassment. Yeah. You see this and I'm like, God damn it. This is what people think when we say video games. This is... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's this. This is what people think of when they say video games. So there's two kinds of attacks. Actually, there's actually three, but they don't teach you about the next one until a little bit later. There's pom-pom attacks. That, those are your light attacks. And then there's chainsaw attacks, which are your heavy attacks. You don't really start off with any combos, you have to buy those later, but eventually the light attacks become way more useful for right now, so it's better to stick with the uh, heavy attacks. Like, have you ever had a moment where you're just going about your day and you're all happy, and then you have suddenly remember like an embarrassing moment, and everything's terrible? Yeah. That's that feeling the game for me. That's what's happening here. Yeah. Although, I will admit that I am really digging the comic book type style thing. Oh man, you're gonna love Borderlands. Alright. And occasionally you will run into students from Juliet School who are in trouble of being eaten by zombies. The first couple in this level I don't think can die unless you are really, really, really awful at this game. <laughs> Um, yeah. Are they bleeding hearts? Awesome. They're bleeding glitter. Pretty zombie medals. Thanks, kid. Really great work. See if you can get anyone else out. Be careful. Look out! Incoming! Whoa, zombies suck dick at driving. Okay, so lollipops are your health refills. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use them when the game's loading or telling you something, but uh, lollipops, no matter how much health you have, always restore one half of your health. That's neat. Yeah, the higher difficulty you're in, the less lollipops you can carry. Easy starts you off at 7, normal goes down to 5, hard goes down to 3. How many school buses does this place have? I'll rip out your teeth! Oh, great. <laughs> Quite a bit. Hey! So, you can also attack using X to get legless zombies. You don't really want to attack with X unless you're setting up combos or you're dealing with legless zombies because if you attack with X with normal zombies, then you'll make them legless. And in my opinion, legless zombies are 
way more annoying to deal with than the normal ones. She is remarkably nonchalant about this. Is this a regular occurrence? Because if you said yes, I would believe you. Yeah, for her, yes it is a regular occurrence. Um, so, the game just told you about something I used a couple of times already. Uh, if you push the circle button, you can actually dodge out of the way. That's actually probably the most important thing about fighting pretty much any zombies is to remember that you have a dodge attack. It's super fucking useful. If you don't use it, you will get your shit wrecked. Especially during boss fights. I'm pretty sure the entire reason the first boss fight exists is to teach you what is happening dodging here? is the most important thing. Why were we in space? <laughs> if you kill three zombies in one attack, then you get sparkle hunting. Sparkle hunting not only gets you more zombie medals, but it also gets you platinum medals. So it's it's basically the way that the game tries to encourage you to be better at it. Very best time. There are also occasionally special golden lollipops, which have collectible wrappers. I'm not gonna get them all. We gotta live in them eggs. Watch out! Yeah, rolling around in a bus is probably not the best idea with a chainsaw. Get away from me! Probably not. No. But this game is totally just taking real world physics and everything and just throwing it out the window. Just throwing it all out there. Oh yeah, it's a Suda 51 game, of course it's gonna do that. Have you never played Killer7? Actually, no, I have not. What? Oh god, you need to play Killer7. I've watched LPs of it, I've never played it. It's fucked up and amazing. I know, I just, you know, and I'm not, I'm just not gonna buy a copy. I'm horrible at it. Okay, it's fine, bro. My favorite president is Warren G. Harding. Thanks. <laughs> okay, occasionally students will have a health bar, and if... Can you kill them? Well, we got these ones. No, you cannot. They don't have friendly oh. fire. Um, which is good, because if you let a student with a health bar die, they actually turn into a zombie with a health bar. And those guys are assholes to deal with, especially in the very beginning of the game, when you don't have any combos to work with. In fact, you'll see that later this video that life bar zombies are pretty much the biggest dicks. So, uh, remember how you thought sparkle hunting was weird? Yes. You haven't seen okay. anything yet. I hope you like, hey, Mickey! Okay. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Fuck off. All right, so when you activate your sparkle hunting meter, which you which fills up when you just kill zombies, all of your heavy attacks one shot any zombie in the entire game except the bosses. And even then, they think they deal extra damage to the bosses anyway. <laughs> so this is the easiest way to rack up those platinum medals. Impressive. This is so ridiculous, I can't help but love it, it's great. I know! <laughs> Welcome to the reason why I love this game. It's probably not the best game Suda 51's ever done, but it's one of them. Oh, and quick time events. <laughs> so when okay, I actually can explain this right now. When zombies are groggy, which means they have those little stars above their head, any heavy attack will kill them, no matter how much health they have left. 
but typically a zombie won't be groggy until he's nearly dead anyway, so... There are a couple ways to force a zombie to be groggy before that, but I don't think we have access to any of them. No, we have access to one. If you push circle and then pom-pom attack them while you're still jumping and if they back into a wall, they'll automatically become groggy. I like how that zombie was all like, Did I miss the party? Oh god! <laughs> I had to find my teal hat, I'm sorry. So, you've noticed that some of the things in the world are destructible. Sadly, these Verizon phone things are not. I'm pretty sure that's product. At least I think it's Verizon. Fantastic job, Jed! Glad you made it, pilot dude! Where's the breeze? Hold on, this is too dangerous. I'll meet you in the square. Yeah, occasionally you'll get calls from your mom and your other family members about random shit. Sometimes it's important, most of the time it's just mom being a ditz. So, here's chop 2 shop dot zom This is where you can buy your skills and health upgrades and your alternate skins and such. There's no alternate skins available yet. But we just bought our first combo, it's not that what should I get? You can also buy lollipops, and if you have a shitload of zombie medals, you can buy a, a platinum medal. You would think that it's a waste of money, but eventually, when you have nothing else to spend the gold medals on, the platinum stuff becomes really appealing because it's the only thing you can get. <laughs> nope, can't cut that. No. It made me sad. That was the first time I ever tried cutting that down. I was like, I wonder if you can actually do that. My girl! Get out of my way! I'm in a hurry! Now, here's a fun fact. Hard mode not only determines how many lollipops you can carry at one time, but also certain zombie locations. Uh, for instance, I'm not going to explain every single one of them because you'll be seeing the hard mode run eventually, but... Here, there would be an extra named zombie that you can actually get, that you can actually add to your head collection, which will pop up later in the video. Okay. Oh, dear. Yo, if you somersault over a zombie with this uh, circle button, or I guess that would be the A button on an Xbox controller, and get behind them and then immediately heavy attack, then you can just straight up saw through their crotch. Yeah, I imagine that sucks, even for a zombie. Yeah, that has to blow pretty hard. And I'm trying to adjust the camera here to show stuff off, but you can't move the camera on that alley! 26 zombies! No need to come out! Let me tell you, when you are way better at this game and you have a couple more moves, this is a great place to go platinum hunting, platinum metal farming. You can get like... I think my best platinum hunt, platinum metal score was around 25, what? 30. <laughs> Apparently your dad's pretty hot. Alright, that was pretty straightforward, yeah. <laughs> we went from be my girl to let me fuck your father. Okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to show show off a move that the game actually does not show you for a little while, and I fail miserably. I swear I'm good at this game. The hard mode run will prove that. 
I promise I'm good at this game. I'm actually holding back to make sure that, uh, that I have something to show for the hard mode run. Yeah, sure. Okay. You think at some point this zombie would be like, Alright, we've all decided we're not gonna fuck with the Lola with the chainsaw chicken. Yeah, you would think that, but... And again, zombies aren't exactly known for their planning skills. Actually, these zombies are pretty intelligent. I mean, they're talking, they're forming coherent thoughts, everything. And then, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so it's like, um, so it's like I Am Legend, where the monsters are actually intelligent. Yeah. And they just much. want you to stop killing them. Except, you know, not at all. Yeah. Zombies not dead! Ah! Okay, yeah, technically, by the classical definition of zombies, you're not dead, you're just under hypnosis. <laughs> or voodoo mind control. But you're kind of hey. clearly dead. Hey, uh, wanna know something? Okay. These are the same three models of the students that you saved. And I'm pretty sure George here, the, the named one? George and his twin there. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he's the one that had the health bar, so it's consistent. Ray! What's not consistent is that if George is dead and you fail to save him, he's still here. Huh. Yeah. Kinda makes me sad that they didn't pay that much attention to detail. I guess I kinda figured you'd save him, you know? I guess. He's kinda hard to save your first time, actually. You know what, um, just don't, don't say first time in relation to this game ever again. <laughs> hey, these guys are assholes and I hate fighting them. Let's not do that. Okay. Fun fact, you can sparkle hunt, you can sparkle hunt, you can sparkle hunt these dudes, and if you manage to get all three of them at the same time, you get 99 gold zombie medals. Oh, Nick! Love the music in this game. The music's fantastic. Nick? Nick, are you here? It's okay to come out! Nick? Oh, please! Juliet! I'm so hungry. Oh! Oh! Shit! Are you okay, Juliet? I, uh, I, uh, one bit me. Just a little bit. I, I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Huh? Oh, no. It can't be. I feel it in me. I'm gonna become one, huh? Mm-hmm. I, fuck. I'm screwing up your birthday, aren't I? I'm sorry, Juliet. I, I don't want to fuck up your birthday. My birthday? worry about that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Uh, 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 listen, I know it's stupid. We just started getting serious, but uh, I wanted you to know. I know I've never said it or anything, but I, I, I kind of sort of, you know, love you. Uh, oh, I fucking love you. Oh. No, there's something we can try. It's the only chance we have uh, to save you. Julia? What the fuck? I love you too, baby! Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> well, 
Okay, I'm so just here to each, your imaginary each stage grades you on the amount of gold, platinum medals that you get, the amount of sparkle hunting you do, your completion time, it penalizes you for using continues, and then it grades your overall score from D to A+. Plus. Okay, great. Um, the only way to get an overall rank of A+, plus is if all of your other things are A+. Plus. Question. Does this school hmm. have a dress code? Because I'm pretty sure that skirt violates it. That's a good Actually, I'm just never going to say violate during this LP again. 